TV Live Look Now at Ocean City as many families head to the shore to cool off from Philly's 90 degree temperatures, but they're finding the water is a lot colder than they expected. We care as much as you do. It's why we sent South Jersey reporter Brandon Goldner to Ocean City to find out, find out why the ocean water is so cold. For Chase Hoffman, the ocean is usually his happy place. But not this week. I'm disappointed because the ocean is usually one of my favorite things to do. Like, I'll spend half the time when I go into the beach in the ocean. He and others like Haley Stickley and Corinne Reeves say the water is freezing. I think it's a little bizarre. I don't think that the water should be this cold <laughs> in August. Stockton University professor Anna Pfeiffer Herbert says in the past week, the water temperature between Sandy Hook to Cape May has plummeted from the 70s to the 50s which is unusually cold for this time of late July, early August. She says this is known as upwelling, but it's not the ocean current causing these chilly temperatures. It's the air, specifically winds from the south pushing water away from the shore. So the warm, nice warmed up surface water moves out toward the ocean and then deep water, which is cold, uh, rises up to kind of fill the gap close to the coast. She says this is part of a natural weather pattern and not related to Debbie, the storm hitting hard in the south. She adds families at the shore can notice a haze in the atmosphere and water that's either clearer than normal or has a greenish tinge to it. Upwelling is a really cool phenomenon. It, it helps to feed the food web by bringing nutrients from the deep and um, so that cascades up through our fish and other sea life. While well, upwelling may make fish happy. <laughs> oh no, that's chilly. Hoffman isn't as thrilled, though it won't stop him from at least trying to enjoy the ocean. I've just been trying to hope out that eventually it will get warmer, but by the looks of it, it's not going to be that way. <laughs> but it will. It's just a matter of time until the summer wind changes and the water warms up. Brandon Goldner, CBS News, Philadelphia.